The focus has to pay greatest attention to human immunology. And undertaking research in human immunology is challenging enough without all the extra obstacles it faces. And I think that focus can play perhaps a unique role in helping us deal with some of those obstacles. So the first sacred cow to deal with is that human immunology or translational medicine is about doing less basic research and more applied research. And this is, of course, just not the case. What it's about is making that basic research more obviously applicable and more rapidly translated into a practical clinical research arena. And secondly, it's about seeing the value of basic research insight that can be obtained from working in human systems and working on human samples that is over and above simply translating ideas from model systems. And the reason that I think focus and the community has to take on the challenges is primarily that young people want to see us do this. Young people, many of whom are themselves trained in basic science, want to see a capacity to translate their ideas, want to see a capability to, to learn basic and novel insights from, from the use of human materials. So what are the challenges? Well, the first challenge, of course, is, is sort of obvious, and that is you've got to bring communities together. You've got to bring basic scientists together with clinicians, real practicing clinicians who see patients. Now, this is an obvious thing to say, and it's been a difficult thing to achieve. And as is so often the case, one of the issues is money and logistics. There have to be funding mechanisms that are created that allow clinicians to spend time at basic research group meetings, that allow basic scientists to attend, for example, clinical rounds. There have to be ways that facilitate this during uh, just the, 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 the carrying out of people's everyday jobs. Now, the, uh, the second sacred cow in, the, in this regard is that we are not to remove the integrity of each individual's job description. We want great basic scientists to continue to do great basic science, and we certainly want great clinicians to continue to be good clinicians. But what we often need are people to fill the gaps in between, as it were, logistical intermediaries, people who can shuttle back and forth at both the experimental level and at the analysis level. And that in turn means that new career structures have to be thought about. We have to think about logistical structures that permit the furtherance and promotion of careers for individuals who will work in these facilitatory roles. So that's a second step. The first, you know, supporting clinical basic science interactions. The second now, creating career structures, creating promotion mechanisms, retention mechanisms that value people who do this. So where focus comes in, I think, is that these conversations are going to be challenging because they're going to involve multiple parties who don't necessarily often talk to each other higher education institutes, hospitals, funders, the pharmaceutical industry, educators, need to agree on worthwhile goals and need to see where they can pool resources and show intent on enabling all of this to happen. So I think if focus can help bring key decision makers and key thought leaders together in this arena, this will be an extraordinary achievement and it's one that young people want to see organizations like Focus achieve. I think if we can do that, we can uh, look forward to a situation in which doing human immunology research translating ideas, learning basic mechanisms from human materials is encouraged and supported rather than um, 
being described by all sorts of obstacles that today are just so often a complete disincentive.